So here's a short video of my trip to Grand Cayman. I principally went to Grand Cayman to photograph the southern stingrays, but it'd be rude not to do a bit of uh, general diving while I was there as well, wouldn't it? Here I am, start of the dive in my happy place, on the way to see if we can find something. And our first subject is the barracuda. We found this barracuda, not a particularly big one, probably a juvenile. Um, they've got a fearsome reputation, barracudas. They've, they've got big teeth on them and they're fearsome hunters, but they're actually not harmful at all to humans unless you care to put your finger in front of them. Um, they sometimes get mistaken as aggressive by divers because they'll follow them around, but it's actually because they mistake you as a bigger predator and they think they might get a free easy picking from the, the rest of your meal. As we swam a, a, a bit further on, we came across this lovely little group of Bermuda sea chub. A uh, beautiful little scene really, sometimes you just have to stop and observe these scenes. The spotted ones are actually the juveniles, as, as they get larger they just take on those stripes, which is a shame I think. I love this still because it looks as if the one towards the right is just smiling at us, doesn't it? Here we are trying to find our next subject and, and I was really lucky on this dive. These are tarpon and this is a fish I've tried to photograph many times. Now you wouldn't think it here, but they're absolutely bright silver. But because the water is a little bit murky, and we're photographing them in a, in a kind of crevasse or canyon, it means that I, for once, was able to get a decent exposure. Normally, the lights bounce back off this silver, and you can't, it burns out. But fortunately, this time, I could get a decent exposure, and I do quite like those. So, uh, just hanging about, seeing what we can find. And the splash settings, something like. And this unusual fish is the trumpet fish. So this is its normal position, hanging down like this in the reef. It's a predator, again, can open its mouth wider than its body to swallow prey. But that's its normal position, hanging upside down. And it obviously uses it as disguise, doesn't it? Beautiful little fish, though, really. This is a schoolmaster snapper. And you might have caught a glimpse of him, actually, when we were photographing the barracuda right at the start. Like all snappers, they're really good to eat, but I think they're better still to photograph. That's the end of the dive, off we go. And the next day, we're off to photograph the southern stingrays. So I love rays, I love all rays. I just love the way they swim through the water, glide up, almost flying. Um, unfortunately, they're, they're a fish that are much better suited to video than they are stills. And you can see that, um, I mean, really shallow water, you can see just how friendly they are. Um, but as I say, in a still, you don't actually capture that movement, do you? And sometimes when I process a still like this, I'm, I'm disappointed because they're really just a big black blob, aren't they? But look, this is when they come to life. You can see his mouth really easy, or her mouth really, really well there, can't you? This is when they come to life, isn't it? This beautiful flying motion. Now they've got a bit of a bad reputation because it's stingrays that killed the, um, the presenter Steve Irwin. You can see on the tail, you, you, we'll see it better in a minute or two. Um, there look, right there. You can see on the tail, they have a sharp barb. And they're not a vicious fish at all, they're very docile. But Steve Irwin was unlucky enough to approach one from behind in 2006. It flipped its tail up and its barb went actually in between his ribs and punctured his heart and killed him. It was a complete freak accident, but, but yeah, that was what it did for Steve Irwin. Anyway, that was the end of that trip, and a great, great trip it was.